Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is so good. Glory to God. We're so excited tonight. Praise the Lord. We are so excited that we are here with Dr. Tandi Ingonello uh, coming all the way from New Germany, Durban. Praise the Lord. We just give God the praise and the glory. Thank you, woman of God, for being with us. Again, happy Women's Month to all of the wonderful and beautiful ladies and queens, women of virtue, wisdom, valor, honor, strength, and, and royalty here in South Africa and all over the world. God bless you tonight. You are God's woman. The Lord bless you, all, all the ladies, all the men, everyone that's watching. God bless you tonight. Welcome. We love you. God bless you. And we're excited. We're just so excited uh, tonight to have Dr. Tanji Ingonella. Welcome, woman of God. Welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see you, woman of God. It's wonderful to be with you tonight. It's just such a, a, wonderful, uh, a wonderful hour to be alive <laughs> in the Lord in this season. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I like uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 to 31. The word says, have you not known and have yeah. you not heard the everlasting yeah. God? The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding mm. is unsearchable. Glory to God. He gives power to the weak and to those yeah. who have no might. He increases yeah. strength. Glory to God. Yeah. Even the yeah. youth shall faint and be weary, and the mm. young men shall utterly fall. But those mm. who wait upon the Lord, glory to God, they shall I renew their strength. And they yes. shall run up on wings like eagles. They shall Praise. run and not grow weary. They shall I walk and not faint. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory Praise to God. God. We're so excited to have you, Pastor Tandi, with us. Uh, Mom Tandi, God bless you, woman of God. We're just so thankful God. to God for you. And, and we're looking forward to all that God uh, is, is going to bring through you uh, in, in a such a mighty way uh, tonight. Glory to God. We're just so Thanks excited. Lord. We are pumped. Glory to God. We are Praise so encouraged in our hearts. Praise God. We praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. And and uh, I just want to, to just, uh, just a small profile. I know she didn't want me to say much, but I just want to uh, introduce you uh, woman of God, um, with just a, a very short uh, synopsis of your bio, uh, Dr. Tandi Ingonello, as, as we know, is the senior pastor and spiritual covering of Acts of Obedience Ministries in, in New Germany, Durban. And Dr. Tandi is a mighty community builder and leader. She's an excellent preacher and prophetic teacher of the Word of God who ministers with fresh anointing, grace, and demonstration of God's power. She's an outstanding international speaker in conferences and seminars. She has been to various countries and she excels in ministry and in leadership. She is the wife of the late Pastor Eddie Ingonello and they, they were married for 40 years. They are blessed with three wonderful grown-up children and five adorable grandchildren. Dr. Tandi believes in living a purpose-driven life that brings change, breakthrough, and dynamic impact in other people's lives, the church, the community, and nation. She's a mentor and a mother to many. Again, welcome, woman of God. Again, we say welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, Hello. many of you know, but I'll just share for those that don't know, I've known Dr. Tandi and Ganello for Oh my goodness, many years, <laughs> many years. And I, I'm so thankful to know you, woman of God. And the Lord. you are such an awesome woman of God, a mighty woman of virtue and excellence and wisdom. And uh, uh, so many people know her and, 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 and you've touched lives all over the globe. And I just want to thank God for you. And God has used you powerfully all over the world and, and 
you you've impacted and and brought transformation in lives through the word of god and through your excellent ministration and and yes. we've just seen such amazing breakthroughs personally and corporately <laughs> praise yes. god uh, through your ministry outstanding victories tailor-made uh, uh testimonies and victories and and breakthroughs that have happened in careers in families in ministries and and uh in men and women globally and um we're just so honored and privileged to have you woman of god with us tonight Thank on the gatekeepers you. platform god bless you again Thank god you. bless you again woman of god I, i'm so thankful praise the lord Amen. praise the mm. lord praise the lord and uh before we get into the word i just wanted to just ask ask a um a question uh um so much has happened in the world, as we know, uh, concerning this uh, global pandemic, this COVID-19. Yeah. And what do you feel God has been doing and saying to the church in this season? I just wanted to ask you what you feel, and we can just talk a few minutes on this. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Prophet Shari. Uh, you know what God has been saying to me about this COVID? God said to me, he is aligning heaven yeah. and earth during Amen. these dark days. As you know, as women, as people of the church, as children of God, we have been praying. We yeah. never stop praying. That's right. We were praying for revival because mm. of what was happening on earth. Yes. And all of a sudden, whilst we we are waiting for the uh, uh, revival. Boom mm. comes this COVID-19. That yes. shocked all. Yes. And, uh, and uh, all of us, we took 2 Chronicles 7, 14 to God to yes. say, you said, if this happens to us, and mm. if my people who are called by my name pray, you will hear in heaven and yes. You are going to heal our land. God amen. heard our prayers. Yes, and amen. God made us to stay for mm. some time. To me, mm. it was like we were put in Gilgal, yes. where we were being circumcised. Yes. So that when the Lord is through with us, mm. we shall come up a changed people. We amen. shall come out with new hearts that are hungry for God. We yeah. shall come up out of this place knowing mm. that the Holy Spirit who yeah. is always with us is going to lead us Amen. to go where God wants the church to go. Yes. And I do believe in the in the word that is first uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 10 where the Bible says God will give us a way to come yeah. out of so Amen. I believe after the circumcision in Gilgal, mm. God is going to be gracious and Amen. he is going to take us out of this period. Yes. This Amen. is what I heard the Lord saying. Amen. Amen. Amen, woman of God. Yes. And and I, I agree with that. Um, it's been a time of circumcision. It's been a time of, of being uh, totally... Um, just drawn into the to the inner chambers of prayer yes. and 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 holding on to the the horns of the altar before the throne yes. room of God. It's been a deep That's time of prayer and a deep time of also I, I I guess because of lockdown being almost completely separated from everyone. You know to, mm. to just be alone with God, to be alone okay. with God, and and this it's been your own amazing. Mm. Yes. Each one of us working out your own salvation in yes. trembling and fear. I believe yes. this is what this period has done to us. Amen. Amen. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Amen. And I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. We're, we're coming out of this uh, stronger than ever before, like a butterfly Praise out Lord. of a cocoon. We're, we're going to be totally transformed. Totally Definitely. transformed. Yes. Praise Definitely. God. Thank Definitely. you. Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise. Praise God. Thank you, woman of God. And and I, I just want to uh, 
we're just going to go ahead straight into the word of God and please, uh, Mom, Mom Tandi, please take take your liberty and share what the Lord has laid on your heart uh, hmm. uh, for for the women in this hour and and for for the body of Christ. Whatever the Holy Spirit has laid in your heart, please take your liberty. Uh, Praise God. God bless you. God bless you, Mom. First, firstly, allow me to thank you for this moment. I don't take it for granted. You oh, know, it's my God's pleasure. people my pleasure. are in the heart of God. And whenever you have to talk to the heart of God, there is a great responsibility upon your life. I, I, we have known you with uh, Apostle Gamete for many years. Yes. In the 80s. Amen. When you... Yes to come <laughs> to West Center, yes. back home in dancing Amen. church. This is uh, right in the middle of the 80s. Yes. And so we've known each other for many years. Yes, Amen. And I'm grateful for this moment. Yes. And may God bless us as Amen. we are going to hear Amen. the word of God tonight. Amen. When I got your invite about tonight, but the first thing that gripped me was the name gatekeeper's watch yes i yes. looked at gatekeeper and i said my lord this is a very very important name gatekeeper yes. because when you are a gatekeeper you yes. are someone who must know what time it is in the spirit amen when you are a gatekeeper mm. you cannot allow your eyes to sleep you have to know yes. the hour and you have to act accordingly. Amen. When I look at the word watch, mm. the spirit of God dropped it. Isaiah 62, verse mm. 6 and 7. I have yes. set watchmen yes. upon your walls, O Jerusalem. Praise they God. are going Amen. to call upon the Lord Amen. until the Lord changes Jerusalem into mm. a place of praise. Amen. So I feel that this name, Gatekeeper's Watch, you got it from the Spirit of God for yes. what you praise God. for the mm. generation. Mm. Amen. I understand God to be a generational God. Yes. Amen. That is why each generation must teach the next generation about yes. the laws of God, about the decrees of God, about Amen. the statutes of God. Because Amen. if we do not teach the next mm. generation about God, there mm. will come a generation that will not know about God. That's right. I remember Amen. when I was young, my grandmother used to sleep on the bed and uh, I would sleep on the floor next to her bed. And mm. I knew the time for prayer that 4 a.m. Mm. in the morning, she would wake me up and would mm. pray in the morning. I was very young, eight, mm. nine years old. But mm. those prayers, I kept them in my spirit. And after mm. that, my mother took over from mm. my, my granny. So you can see that God is a generational God. Yes, amen. I, I'm always uh, 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 troubled. By 2 Timothy chapter 3, where mm. Timothy tells us about mm. the generation of the last days. Amen. He actually says they will have a form of godliness, but they will not have the power. Yes. And uh, we are living during the times of a generation that questions everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are living during the time of a generation that 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 somewhere somehow they 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 they, they, they want to know the reasons of why they should not do certain things. And mm -hmm. sometimes they want to do things that are going to destroy them. But yes. I believe in my heart that we must not stop telling them the truth in love. We must yes. not stop Amen. teaching this generation about what is expected from us all. That is why to tonight, as I'm going to be talking 
to the ladies, I know there is this cry in the body of Christ that we always uh, concentrate on married ladies. We, we forget that there are single ladies out there. We forget that there are ladies whose marriages did not work out. We forget that there are widows uh, that are out there. But I want to say to all the ladies, no, not that we are neglecting the other ladies. We will make time, I am sure, as time goes on, especially now that we have got so much time in our hands. But tonight, God has laid it upon my heart that I, I, I must minister on the scripture that we find in the book of Titus, Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Older women, likewise, are to be referent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. And so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. That's Titus chapter 2, verses 3. I, I might look like I am a, a neglecting the other three type of ladies that I mentioned, but for tonight, this is what the Lord has laid in my heart, that as a granny, as an older woman, as a woman of my generation, I must make sure there are expectations from me to teach what is good, and I must teach this to the other married ladies. Titus is urging me that I must make sure that the younger women, they push on, they do these things, they press on, they force on what? To make sure that they do what God is expecting from them. The first thing that is expected from younger women is to love their husbands. You see now, when we are talking of last, uh, having loving a husband, there is a scripture in Proverbs 31, uh, uh, verse 11, that, that, that the Bible says, the heart of the husband confides in the wife. The heart of the husband confides in the wife. Now, I want you to let the young women know that marriage takes more than love. Marriage is about accepting your husband. It is about being a blessing to your husband. It is about listening to your husband. Marriage is about elevating your husband. It is about forgiving him. You know, husbands don't really love they want it to be honored and they want it to be respected. That's the way that we show love to the husbands that we, we, are, we are married, we are married to. We, 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 we need to, to, to forgive them when they have hurt us. One of the things that makes a husband to be loving towards the wife is when the wife has forgiven him when he has a head here. This makes him to love her more, to know that uh, uh, my, my wife understand that what I did, I did not do it deliberately. I did it because it was a mistake. And therefore she gets, he gets the, 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 the forgiveness of a, of a wife. I always say, the, 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 the name wife is spelled W-I-F-E, meaning a W is for wisdom, the I is for integrity, the F is for forgiving, and the E is for excellence. This is in my, my mind, W for wisdom, I for integrity, F for, for forgiveness, and E for, for, for excellence. 
The second thing that Titus says younger women must be taught is to love their children. The Bible says in Psalm 127, verse 3, Behold, children are a blessing from the Lord. The book of Proverbs says, a, 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 a Train up a child in the way he should go. In other words, as wives, we, we are expected by God to train our children. Train the child how to walk. Train the child how to work. Train the child how to speak. Train the child how to, how to sit. Children don't just learn things out of the blue. They need mommy to be there to train them that you can't speak like that. When somebody gives you something, you know, oh, oh, Prophet Shari, I come from a, 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 a generation or an era where you wouldn't take as a child something from an elder with one hand. It yes. always has got two hands. Mm -hmm. It yes. always, when you speak, it's yes, mommy, yes, daddy, yes, yes. grandpa, yes, grandma. We come yes. from that generation. And mm. therefore, we have to pass, to, to pass the good things that our parents did to us. We need to pass them to, 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 to our children. We need yes. to teach our daughters to work. Yes. It breaks my heart that we do not train our children to work. Mm. Our children mm. rely on the, the helpers that we have in, in, in our homes. I need to ask all of us, are our daughters trained to be wife material? Do they know that there are certain expectations when they arrive, when they get married, they will be expected to know how to cook, they'll be expected to know how to work, they'll be expected how to, to, to do washing and to do ironing. And I'm asking all of us, myself included, do our daughters know to do these things? Do our sons know how, how to, to, to go on and do little chores in the house? Do, 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 do. Have we trained our sons to pick up their pens? Because if they cannot pick up their pens, it, it will be very, very difficult for them to pick up somebody's daughter. So training children, it's our duties as, as, as parents. Yes. Knowing, to, 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 our children should know that when we train them, we train them because we love them. If we don't train them to do these things, it means we do not love them. Then the next thing that Titus says, women must be trained. They must be trained that they have got to exercise a spirit of self-control. They need to exercise a spirit of self-control. The Bible in Galatians chapter 5, it, 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 it counts all. That's the, 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 the fruit of the spirit and self-control is one of them. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is self-control. In other words, when you are a wife, you need to exercise self-control. That's why the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. When there is something that you don't see eye to eye with your husband, do you exercise a spirit of self-control as a wife? Do you say things in anger that you will later regret or you rather exercise a spirit of self-control so that whatever you were going to say, you will say it in a more calm spirit. I usually say to women, when there is an, 
something that you don't see eye to eye about, please do not raise your voice, but strengthen your argument. When you strengthen your argument, it, 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 it makes things easy for your husband to, to understand what you are saying. The next thing that he says, we must train young women, says we must train them to be pure. The Bible says in Luke chapter 6, verse 45, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When the Bible speaks of purity, purity is a big word in the Bible. We are living during a time where everything has become so impure. That is why we need to have pure thoughts as women. We need to have pure speech as women. We need to, to, to have pure actions as women. We must not add upon the impurities that are covering the earth at this time. If you look around a, a, a prophet Shuri, sometimes I look at the way the women are dressing and sometimes I, I, I must say to you, I, I become ashamed of ourselves as women. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says in First Timothy chapter yeah. 2, verse 9, women must be decent yes. and more dressed. In other mm -hmm. words, as a woman of God, before I go out of my house, I need to stand in front of the mirror and yes. ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, am I decent enough that I can go to where I'm going to. If the spirit of God says, yes. no, you are not decent, I must change all over again and put on something that will look decent. Yes. The next thing that Titus speaks about, Titus says the women must be busy at home. Hey, this one, I think we, we will have to write a book about it when he says women must be busy at home. I'm, I'm, I'm referring to the woman of Proverbs 31, where the Bible says in Proverbs 31 verse 17, she sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. The, 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 this woman of Proverbs 31 was a woman who was the last one to go to bed and the first one to wake up. She was a busy woman. I want you to say this to the women. Genesis 2.18 says, you are a suitable helper to your husband. Don't allow your helper that is helping you at home to be a suitable helper to your husband. You are. In other words, I'm trying to say there are certain things that you must directly do to your husband as the wife of your husband, Amen. not the help. There are certain things, certain items that the helper must not touch that must belong to the wife and the daughter if the daughter yes. is there. Yes. Because this woman comes from another home. She is not a suitable helper to your husband. You are a suitable helper to your husband. Amen. In other Amen. words, as women, we are busy. We, we are business women. We are career women. We are studying. But we must not forget that we are somebody's wife. We must not forget that we are somebody's mother and somebody's grandmother. Those people are looking at me and they are expecting me to act the way God wants me to act towards them. Then the next point is, these women must be kind. Proverbs 31 verse 12, she brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. You must be kind to your husband. How do you respond when your husband has been unkind to you? To you? Do you try to be even? or try to hurt him more than he has done to you? How do you react when your husband or children have been unkind to you? Do you let go or do you harbor 
a grudge. Do you know that a wife is sin at her best when she forgives? You are sin at your best when you forgive. Amen. Do you know that when you forgive, even the heavens give you a standing ovation? When you, you don't forgive, you are actually inflicting another wound on you by not forgiving. When you let go, you allow yourself to be detoxed by the Spirit of God. Because get this, ladies, the Holy Spirit is there to heal us when we have been hurt. Hurt by people, hurt by situation, hurt by circumstances. The Holy Spirit is always there. I remember at some stage, yes, Becky, yes, Beck. My husband once hurt me. And uh, the way I was hurt, I, I wanted to harbor that hurt. Even when the Holy Spirit said to me, come, let me heal you. I, I remember I said, no, Holy Spirit, leave me, this is my wound. Uh, uh, uh. But the Holy Spirit said, I am here. I want to heal you. When I opened up and I allowed the Holy Spirit to heal me, I was free and I could go on loving and being submissive. This is what God is expecting from us. And then the last thing we need to be good. The opposite of good is bad. In other words, we must not be bad wives. A bad wife is a wife who fails to cover the nakedness of a husband. Husbands don't marry us for our hips and our lips but they marry us so that they can have somebody to cover their nakedness. There is no perfect husband. All husbands have got weaknesses. We need to know and understand that when you are a good one, you will walk an extra mile, an extra mile of being a good wife to your husband, even if you think that this is not worth doing it. Now, the last question I must ask all of us, why is Titus saying we must teach the young women? He tells us the reason. He says they have to be taught this so that people don't speak bad about our God. They have to be taught this so that the Bible is not a, 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 a maligned so that there can be a difference between women of God and women who do not know God. These things have got to be taught. I want to say to the ladies out there, the world is already walking around naked. Let us not add to the number of women of God who are walking naked. The world, is already exposing. You know, you see strange things on TV, on social media, where you see a pregnant woman exposing the child. The child is in the womb and the mother is not wearing. And then I am asking myself, what lesson is this lady teaching the younger generation? Mm. The world has exposed pregnant women. Let us not add on that list. The, yeah. the, the women of the world are already using vulgar language. We cannot afford as women of God to add on that list. Amen. The Bible speaks of little foxes that, that devour the vineyard. I think the things that I am taught, this is, we find that scripture in the Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15. He says, uh, uh, catch for us the little foxes, the little foxes that uh, are destroying, that are devouring our vineyards. And the things that I have uh, spoken about tonight are these little foxes that are destroying the vineyard of God, that are destroying our character, that makes us to be looked down upon by even people who do not know God. These are the things that make the character of the church being despised by people who do not know our God. And if we 
as women of God, correct ourselves, then God in heaven will smile upon us as women. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And uh, I want at this time for us to pray. The Bible says the word of God must stay inside of us like riches. The word of God is there to convict us as children of God. Where you look at your own life, you, you, you say, I did not do right there. I did not do right there. And you allow the spirit of God to come inside of our hearts and, and help yes. us as, 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 as children of God. Let us pray. Father, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, tonight yes, we come to you, O oh God. We come knowing that you are God. Yes, you Father. are God all by yourself. You are God who was God, who is God, who is to come. You yes. are God who said, come unto me, all those who are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. We come to you, O oh God, tonight. We have learned, my God, we have been taught, Father, that as women of God, we must have the character of Christ, the mind that is in Christ should be in us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that all the women out there, they will know and understand that it is God who expects us in the name of Jesus to love our husband, to love our children. Therefore, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that all our thoughts, our, all our action and speech towards our husband and children will be that of love. We will speak a love language in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. Father, yes. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that mm. we shall be busy at our homes. We shall yes. work with our hands. We will yes. manage yes. our time. We will put yes. the time of God first. And after yes. that, we'll put the time for our families, my God, and yes. do all the things that are expected of us in the yes. mighty name of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, yes. I pray that we shall be women who are kind. The Bible says on our tongues, there must be an instruction of kindness. And Father, in the name of Jesus, this we shall do in Jesus' yes. mighty name. Father, I pray that we yes. shall be good women in yes. Jesus' mighty name. Women who know and understand that we are not good because of people, but we are good because Father God, we want you to be good. We choose to be good. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, I pray that as wives, we shall be people who are self-controlled. We shall exercise self-control, especially Father God, in the name of Jesus. When time, my Father, when we are hurt, but we shall exercise self-control in the name of Jesus. We shall not speak out of anger. In the name of Jesus, we will not worship God with emotions. We will not come in and out of the spirit, but we will yes. walk in the spirit in the yes. mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Father, yes. we thank you that as women, we shall be women who thank are you. pure, my God, and whatever the spirit of the living God, we shall yes. do it in the name of Jesus so that the name of God, the word of God will not be maligned in the name of Jesus in so Jesus that people, name. Father, we will speak ill of our God in the name yes, of Jesus, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We yes, thank Lord. you, Lord, that Father, the name thank of God will not be blasphemed, my Father, because yes, of God. us. But Father God, every time you speak to us, we shall listen and we shall hear in Jesus' yes, name. In we Jesus thank name. you and we bless your name, O oh God. You, God. Yes, God. The of honor. You are worthy of praise. You deserve yes, honor. Deserve honor. We, we bless you. We glorify you. your name. Yes, you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tandy. Thank you was such a powerful and deep word, uh, especially uh, to, to all of us with families, 
This is such a, a deep word and such a, a, an important uh, understanding that wives, we, W is wisdom, I is integrity, F is forgiveness, and E is excellence. We have to walk in that. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the word. Praise the Lord. Amen. In closing, uh, Prophet Sherry, I, I just wanted to remind the women of God that when the book of Timothy says, first of all, prayers should be made for those who are in authority. This mm. puts our husbands in authority. Yes. In other words, God expects us as women to pray for our husbands. Yes. More than nagging, more than complaining, more than murmuring, God expects us to pray for them. And Amen. when we pray for them, we must pray that they must please God because in pleasing God, automatically they shall be the type of husbands that we expect them to be. So Amen. we need to know and understand that authority of the man is authority also in the house where the family is. And this authority yes. for us to live a peaceable life, it's us as women who must pray for this peaceable life. And when we do so, God is going yes. to be excited in heaven. God is yes. going to love us with a special love in the name of yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, woman of God. And, and I, I'd like us to continue to pray, um, like yes. you were saying, that the Lord will grant us um, the 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 um, the grace of kindness to our husbands, and and that we will get rid of any little foxes that spoil yes. the vine. Let us pray. Let's continue to pray. Father, thank you for Father, divine Father, intervention. Thank you, Father. Lord, for Failing, Holy Spirit, Spirit orchestrate everything for, women. for those that are, are listening to in the name of accept. Jesus. Heal the families, heal every wife, every woman, every mother, every single mother. Uh, Lord, do a work of healing in the family, especially in us as women, in the name of Jesus. That Father, you we will get rid of the little foxes that spoil the vine, and that Father, you will put in us the grace of kindness, kindness upon our, our hearts, kindness Amen. in our thoughts, kindness Amen. in our mouths, kindness in, in the, the genuineness yes. of what we do for our families. In the Thank name you. of Jesus, Father, put the law of kindness upon us in a new way. You anoint us with your goodness and your kindness in another level, oh God, that Lord, we will exude the, the, the character of Christ in the name of Jesus. We thank you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Have your when way. We hear in the Jesus word of God, we will not yes, hard in our in yes, the name God. of thank, thank you for the word that softens yes, our heart. Thank you yes, for God. the word of God. The Bible thank says you have been purified because yes, of the word of God. We thank accept you, purification. We yes, embrace God. We embrace it. Lord. We thank yes, you, Lord, Lord, and bless your name. In yes, Jesus' thank you, Father. name. In Jesus' thank name. You, thank you, Father. In the, in the mighty name, name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Yes, God. And we continue to pray, Father, for healing in marriages. In the name of Jesus. Thank Father, give healing in, in the marriages of all those that have, have challenges and in marriages that I had step in, in the Holy Spirit. We pray for the healing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. In the Lord, mighty the name of, of Jesus. Spirit, Father God, we bring these couples to you. We yes, pray God. for the yes, God. God. Yes, God. the healing of the hearts, the yes, healing Lord. of the mind, the yes, healing God. of the spirit of Jesus God. Name. Yes, in the God. name of Jesus. In the name we of Jesus. We that God holds my Father in yes. the name of Jesus, strongholds of hatred, strongholds mm. of resentment, strongholds yes. of bitterness. In the name of Jesus, strongholds of grudges, we bring yes. them down. Grudges, grudges. Name. we pray for Jesus. healing. Heal yes, God. Them, oh God. Heal them. In Jesus' name. 
I thank you, Lord, that you are doing a new thing in the families. You are yes, healing my father. Those yes, God. Father, God, yes, who God. are not responding well to one another. We, yes, by God. this prayer, Father, we yes. pray that in the name of them, Jesus. heal their children of God in the yes, mighty God. name of in Jesus. 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 We thank yes, you, Lord. God. We bless your name. We yes, glorify thank you, you and we glorify your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Have in your way, Holy Spirit. And Father, all those that have gone through uh, uh, bad relationships, or maybe they're, they're, they've gone through divorce, or, or they've been uh, through uh, uh, terrible relationships, uh, breakdown. Father, intervene, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, uh, and show yourself mighty. Restore, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, intervene, oh God. Bring uh, restoration, divine intervention in their situation. In the name of Jesus, maybe those that have been uh, through through uh, terrible uh, uh, abuse, Lord, bring healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, bring a divine healing in their hearts, in their spirit. In the name of Jesus, heal every brokenheartedness, heal every broken place in each one that is listening tonight in the name of jesus whether it's a husband or a wife that's been through abuse or there's there's been abuse in uh, among a child or children father bring healing now in the name of jesus and father give every wife the grace oh god those that are our wives that are listening give us all the grace oh god to walk in the spirit of of excellence in the, in the spirit of wisdom, in the spirit of integrity, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, that we would have a forgiving heart and that Lord, we would have the law of kindness upon our lips in the name of Jesus and in our mind, the mind of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to, oh God, uh, just purify us, oh God. Purify each and every one that is listening. In the name of Jesus, purify our hearts, purify our souls, purify our, our very DNA, oh God. Purify us in every aspect of our beings. In the name of Jesus, and give us the grace to speak with, with, uh, with kindness and with goodness in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Father, we're asking for healing in every family and all those that are listening now, even those that are trusting you to be married. Lord, bless each one with the right life partner and Lord, cause them to remember the mom Tandy's message, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Father, step in and turn things around in broken families. Let the family be healed. Let there be divine intervention. Let there be healing of the broken. Let there be healing in the soul. Let there be healing in the mind. Let there be healing and deliverance in the very depths of their beings and in their very hearts and, and in the very depths of their spirits. In the name of Jesus, we break every yoke of bondage. In Jesus' name, we break hatred. We break hard-heartedness. We break every uh, spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. Spirits of anxiety, loose the people of God in the name of Jesus. Be free now. Be healed now. Be made whole. Every family, every marriage, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine intervention. Let there be divine turnaround. In the name of Jesus, Lord, step in. Even for those that have been through divorce and maybe they would never be married and are desiring to be married, Father, answer them and cause them to, oh God, be remarried to the right life partner that you have with them, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, step in. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, those that have been through difficult situations and they've been married to wicked people, Oh God, I've been through a divorce because of wickedness. Father, intervene and Lord, step in and heal and restore in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, show yourself mighty, Father. Heal each one in Jesus' mighty name. Heal the broken God in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, heal the wives that feel hurt. Give them the grace to give that hurt to you, Lord. Holy Spirit, heal the broken places in every wife, in every young child, in every man or woman that is listening. 
Heal every broken place in Jesus' mighty name. Let the bomb of Gilead flow now. Let them be healed. Be made whole now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Let the healing of God in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Be loose from bondage. Be loose from wickedness. Be loose from demonic forces. Be loose from generational iniquities and abuses. Be loose. Be free. Your mind be set right in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take over back now in Jesus' name. Be free from every bondage. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord to God, Mom Tandy, thank you so much. God bless you, woman of God. Bless you, Prophet Shea. One more time. But thank you, woman of God. The word was awesome. Was right on time. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Bless Thank you, Prophet God. God. Thank you. Bless you, my. Bless you. Thank God you. Bless you. God bless God you, bless. woman of God. Thank you so much. I love you so thank much. You, we can't thank you enough. Even the impartation. You know, we're, we're, our lives are changed, woman of God, because praise of the Lord. peace of God on your life. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Thank praise the Lord. Thank you. We Hello, value bless. you, woman of God. Thank you so Hello, much. Bless. We love you, and, and and we're so privileged and honored to have you. Thank you again. Thank you bless again. God bless you. I love you, too. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, oh, for all those that are listening, thank you so much. And and God bless you tonight. And, and we'll see you again on Gatekeeper's Watch. God bless you. I know you've received from the Lord mightily tonight. And thank you again, woman of God. God bless you. God bless Praise you. The Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.